Open heart surgery has become easier. The complications have decreased significantly over the last 10 and particularly 20 years. We're treating older and sicker patients with even open heart surgery. We're, there are more and more patients that we're able to safely get through an operation and improve their quality of life. And there's been a lot of studies done on the over 80 population showing that in fact there's a huge benefit to open heart surgery in many of those patients not just trying to extend life but in improving the time that they have left uh, and, in, and getting more meaningful days out of, out of their life. So in that way uh, surgeries become less traumatic. It still is a big surgery and it still is traumatic. It takes about eight weeks in general to recover from open heart surgery. One of the biggest advances in the last five to ten years in heart surgery is what we're not doing. Now in many patients we can replace the aortic valve or the mitral valve without doing a sternotomy which is opening the chest and without cardiopulmonary bypass which is a first for us. Uh, we've done this by combining forces with the cardiologists and we do the procedures together. We use uh, a new type of operating room that combines the advanced imaging of a cardiac cath lab with the capabilities of an open heart room. And you'll have people from multiple disciplines. You'll often have a non-invasive cardiologist helping with the imaging. You'll have an interventional cardiologist and you'll have a cardiac surgeon all working together uh, to be able to replace an aortic valve, replace a mitral valve, and now uh, even repair a mitral valve all without going on bypass and either with a small incision or no incision at all.